Hey guys, a lot of people come up to me and they say, Trico, I need to lose some weight. I'm fat, I got belly fat, man boobs, or I got these these triceps that wave to people goodbye even when I'm just waving with my hand. Or my butt's too big, my hips are too thigh, my legs are too wide. Help me, what am I gonna do? My nutrition's stuffed, I don't know where to start. And half the problem is, is that people you know, people don't know where to start. What do they count calories? Do they cut out grains? Do they get rid of dairy? Is it the fat that's making them fat? Do they need to go to low fat? Or is it sugar? But how do I still go out and have a good night and have a couple of drinks and not put on all my body weight and a little bit more? Is there a relationship between food and putting on weight or not? <clears throat> and what I generally say to them is that we need to create some awareness around food. Because yes, you can count calories, you, you can weigh your food, you can look at, do I have a balance of carbohydrate, protein, and fat? And am I using a great source to achieve that balance? Am I eating every two to three hours? Or am I fasting to increase growth hormone? Or whatever it might be. And there's, there's so many things that we can do. But initially, it's about creating some focus and awareness around what are you eating? What is the junk food? Where is it in your diet and where does it appear? So, simple, little chart, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Make a little list. Take note of what you're eating. Start to write down, what did I have for breakfast today? Two eggs. Muesli. Two eggs and bacon, or five egg omelette, or whatever it was, just write it down. Same thing for lunch. What do I hear a lot of? Sandwich, snack, Mars bar, coffee, dinner, meat and vegetables, whatever it is, just take note of it. And then if you do that for a couple of days, then what you want to do is you want to just start writing down the quantities, because no one can give you feedback, and if you send it through to me, I can't even give you feedback, really about what you're doing unless you have some kind of quantity around it, right? So if you had mushrooms, spinach, um, meat, and nuts, how much did you have? Was it a handful of nuts? Was it 20 nuts? Was it 90 grams of meat or was it 250 grams? And did you have one mushroom, a cup of mushrooms, or a whole plate of mushrooms, okay? So just get clear on what you're having so that then when you go and show someone, or when you go and ask a personal trainer, hopefully they're educated enough to then bring some clarity around that. <clears throat> so, write down what you're having. Grams, make it quantifiable, so grams. Part three to this, without getting into too much detail, is just simply noticing how do you feel. So, little checklist. When you wake up in the morning, what is my energy levels like today? Energy. On a scale of 1 to 10, how am I feeling energetic? Am I, am I exhausted? Do I not want to get out of bed? Or am I ready to go? 2. How is my muscle soreness? So how do I feel physically in my muscles, in my body, in my recovery? recovery. A lot of people are training pretty hard, working out pretty hard. If you're not recovered, if you've got muscle soreness, right, you are going to probably want to eat more and you're probably going to feel more fatigued. So one thing that's going to be common is searching for those sugar highs. So just being aware that you have some of that soreness might mean that you're going to need to eat a little bit more quality food than you might have had the day before. So just getting some awareness around, how's my muscles? How energy and muscles. How well did I sleep? Quality, one out of 10. How many hours did I sleep? Time, okay? Noticing a pattern across your weeks about quality and quantity of sleep so you know what's right for you. Finally, and, and probably maybe even the first thing that you should do as soon as you wake up is just take your heart rate. And over a period of time, you'll be able to figure out an average heart rate. And when that's spiking, um, you probably haven't, you've either had a really restless sleep to start with, you probably haven't recovered, um, 
it's just a sign that your body is not in its natural state. It's probably a little bit heightened. Um, you might have a little bit more cortisol. You might be a little bit more stressed than normal. Or uh, you just might not have recovered from yesterday's workout. You might have had a lot of crap food. If your heart rate's up, just take note that you're probably not going to feel as well today. And uh, you want to take note of that because that might affect the way that you go and eat. Right. Evening. Before you go to bed, how are my energy levels today? How do I feel physically? How do I feel emotionally? Right? Energy levels is a big one. If you have a big energy crash, oftentimes it's related to a really rocky pattern of eating sugar and then feeling in the doghouse, and then eating more sugar and feeling in the doghouse, or whether it's grains or whatever it might be. So just noticing that pattern and then you can start to ask, why am I always feeling tired at 4 p.m.? Cool? Because the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your questions. And unless you've got questions about what you're doing, then you're not going to increase to that next level of quality. So start noticing the patterns. And that first one is, how am I feeling in my uh, energy levels? So second one, how am I feeling physically? How are my muscles again? How, how have I... Uh, how have I felt from today's training or today's activities? And then how am I feeling emotionally? Energy, physically, emotionally or mentally. So how am I feeling mentally? Have I had a tough day teaching kids or working with children? Have I had a really fantastic and inspiring day and I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to be home with my family, my partner or, or by myself with my dog and I'm ready to be in this space? Because what you'll notice is the tighter you are, the more exhausted you are, the more you want to escape from your other world, the more likely you're going to want to have a beer or a wine and some cheese and just watch that TV and lose yourself. And that's when the uh, lack of awareness comes and that's when people tend to reach for the chips, reach for the chocolate. Give me stuff, give me sugar and give me that, uh, that physiological buzz that you get from increased dopamine or, or uh, just basically... Like a cocaine, cocaine hit, like a drug. Sugar's like a drug, it creates a re reaction in the body, makes you feel good. So, just being aware on how you feel mentally is going to affect uh, some of your choices around what you do at night, and just being aware that's important. Finally, uh, energy, physical, emotional, right at the end of the day, how are your hunger levels? Are you hungry? Okay. Just take note of it. Once we have this, we have a little system. We have a system to follow. So one, you're taking note of what you're doing. Two, you're noticing how you're feeling, so how it's affecting you. And three, it allows you to start asking some good questions. Once you have good questions, bang, shoot me an email. Let me see what you've got. And we can start addressing some things. I can start giving you a little bit of feedback to make a few changes. Or you might want to come along to one of our workshops and uh, really understand the nuts and bolts of how to implement a zone paleo nutrition plan so that uh, you can get to that next level, feel really energetic and inspired about your life. And uh, you know, not just eat because you've got cravings or not just eat because you're tired or make good choices because you've got great uh, balanced blood sugar levels and knowing where you're at physically and mentally and how to eat for those, for those circumstances. So, use this plan, shoot me an email, and uh, send me those great questions that you have. Thanks. Take it on board.